Hello, welcome to the Clever Mark channel. Today, I will show you how to create a rocket logo design, using the effect of a negative space and a long shadow. Let's get started. This is the logo I prepared for the tutorial. This part is a negative space. And this is a long shadow. I'll put it on the side and we'll start by drawing a new one. Select the ellipse tool. Make a proper circle. Make another small circle. Place a smaller circle on the edge of a large circle. Copy this smaller circle by selecting it and dragging with hold alt on the keyboard. Slightly increase and place immediately next to the previous one. Repeat the procedure until you get look as it is on my screen. Select all small circles and group them. Right click, group. Then go right click, transform. Reflection. You need to have selected vertical reflection at 90 degrees angle. Click copy to get the identical shape on the other side. Now set the circles to the right, approximately position as on the left. Select now both of the groups and group them into one. Right click, group. Hold the shift and select a large circle. Release the shift and click again on it. In this way, align orientate towards a large circle. Then click horizontal align center. Now select everything together and go to pathfinders and select trim. Right click, ungroup. Separate the top of the graphics. We will not need the lower part of the graphics. We can delete it by using the delete button on the keyboard. Now we have one part of the R logo. I will put that part on the side. If you like this illustrator tutorial, become our subscriber by clicking the red button below, and following our latest videos. Now we are moving to the second part of making our logo. We're drawing a rocket. Select the ellipse tool. Draw the circle. Select the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle in one half of the circle. Select them together and go to Pathfinders and select Trim. Right click on Group. Delete the rectangle. Now, from one half of the circle we create one half of the rocket. I use a white arrow to set points. In this way, I cannot get exactly the same rocket as I initially did, but I will try to be similar. Select the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle on the lower part of our rocket and use pathfinders and select the trim. Right click on group. Delete the rectangle. I will continue to customize the rocket using a white arrow. Select the object, go to transform to the reflection. The settings remain the same, vertical, 90 degrees and click on the copy. Install the right side of the rocket and place a little bit further if necessary.
Now we are drawing wing using a pen tool. It takes a bit of experience for the use pen tool. We use the white arrow for further adjustment. To make a rounded edges of the wing, I click on the point with a white arrow and a blue circle appears, which, when I move the edge turns around. More adjustments. I think it's okay. Now I select the wing and I go to transform to the reflection. The settings remain the same, vertical, 90 degrees and click on the copy. Set the object to the right. Group wings. Right click group. Select rocket body and go to pathfinders and click on the unite. Now, select the wings and body of the rocket and click on the horizontal align center. I think it takes a bit to round up the lower edge of the rocket. I use a white arrow. Clicking on the point I hold the shift and click on the other point. Now with the blue circle, rounded edges. I select everything, and I go to pathfinders and click on the unite. Now we have a rocket body. We're drawing details on the rocket. First, we draw the windows. Select an ellipse tool. Draw a circle. Copy it using Alt on the keyboard, holding the Alt and dragging it. We make it a little bigger. Let's change their color and put the windows on the rockets. We set a little if necessary. Now we are copying the rocket using Alt on the keyboard. We hold the Alt and drag the rocket to the right. We only need half the rocket so we'll cut one half. Select a rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle on the left side of a rocket copy. Select the rocket and rectangle and go on the pathfinders and click on the trim. Delete the rectangle. We're picking up half of the rocket and holding the shift and selecting the rocket, letting the shift and clicking on the rocket again. We click on horizontal align right. Let's move the circles of the window forward. Right click, arrange, bring to front. Let's change the color to half of the rocket. Now we'll make a frame around the window of the rocket. Select circles to hold alt on the keyboard and press the right arrow on the keyboard, then let alt and press the left arrow. In this way we copied the objects and returned them to the original place. Now we select the copied circle and we increase it slightly. We do the same, with the second round. We select both circles in the right half of the rocket. We go to Pathfinders and click on Trim. Right click, Ungroup. We delete circles. What remains is the windows with a frame around them. Now we will set up frames with a bit of detail. We use a white arrow. Click on the point and round the edge. We get a three-dimensional feel. Let's set up some more details. I think it's okay. Change the color of the rocket. Now we are drawing tints at the ends of the rocket. We use a pen tool. Let's go almost to the end of the edge. We leave a small space to the edge. It also works on a 3D feel. We are working on detailing.
Now we paint the shape that we draw in a darker color. More customization details. We'll draw the bottom edge using a white arrow. Now we draw the darkness on the right wing. A little round the edges. Always can be better. Copy the shadow using transform, reflection and copy. Put the object on the left wing. I changed it in a brighter color, because now it is a shine. We do the same with the above object. Here it is necessary to change the shape slightly. We've finished the rocket now. I hope you like the result. If you like this illustrator tutorial, become our subscriber by clicking the red button below, and following our latest videos. I'll move the rocket to the side. We're moving to the drawing of the star. Select the star Thule. In the settings, type 4 in the points field. Radius 1 type 35. In radius 2 type 10. Click OK. You get a star that's like on my screen. I'll change color. Now we have all the three forms that we need. I'll put them in the position that we need to create a logo. Adjust the size of the shapes. You need to draw a small plug on the first element. I'll use a rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle in the middle of the element. Adjust them using the horizontal align center. Then go to the pathfinder and click on the trim. Now delete the rectangle. Switch the object back, using, right click, arrange, send to back. It takes a little more movement. Select the star and set it to the left position. Then copy, hold alt and drag it to the right. Set her position. If necessary, adjust them a little. Copy the star again. Now, lighten it a little and change color. Put the star on the first object. Then copy it and set it as I do. You do it on the other side of the object. When you put everything in place, select all the stars. Hold shift on the keyboard. Select the first object along with the stars. Now go to Pathfinders and click Trim. Right click, Ungroup. Hold the shift and select the first object. Delete the stars. 
Send the first object back. Right click, Arrange, Send to Back. We finish the logo design. The rest is to make a long shadow on it. In the meantime, you can leave a comment. Also visit our website, find the link in the description. Now we will create a long shadow. Select the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle from the top of the rocket to the end of the wings. Send it in the back. Right click, Arrange, Send to Back. Now change the color of the rectangle. We need the color for the shadow. I pre prepared the color with the gradient. We use gradient parameters, left 40% gray. Right, white 0%. It is also necessary to go to the transparency and click in the drop down menu and select Multiply. Now we adapt the shape of the shadow of the rocket. We move the left point to the left wing of the rocket. We install it so that the shadow is completely behind the object. Now we send the first object in the back. In the same way, we make a shadow on the wings of a rocket. We repeat the process on the stars. First I'll do the left. Now I'm working on the shadow on the right star. You need to push the stars forward. The first object should be behind everything. That would be it. We made the planned rocket logo design. It is only necessary to rotate it by 45% to the right. Thanks for watching the video to the end. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned something. Become our subscriber. Leave comment on a video. Share tutorial with your friends. Also you must visit our website, link in the description. You can find all our 3D logos. Best regards.